Before you run to Fandango and buy a ticket for the new Winnie Mandela movie, you might want to understand just who that woman is. Welcome back to Wretched. Dr. Peter Hammond, I'll just shake your hand for the third time, giving us a little bit of a history from South Africa. Nelson Mandela, the husband of Winnie Mandela, he's celebrated in our country, but you think that is unfounded. I wouldn't generally want to celebrate somebody who made his position in life by blowing people up. All right, give us, if you will, once again, uh, for the kids, maybe not so much. What are we well, looking at here? Car bombs, public shopping centers, limpet mine in a shop, uh, bomb in a butchery, a bomb in a post office. And uh, these are some of the nice gifts from the Soviet Union, uh, hand grenades to throw through people's windows. Notice the Cyrillic script on the one side and the Chinese script on the other. You'll never guess where these weapons came from. I'm thinking Cleveland? Yeah, something like that. Soviet Union in Red China. Uh, this was a bar and three women got murdered in the bombing of this Magoo bombing bar in Durban. Uh, oh, there's Winnie Mandela right next to Uncle Nelson and the man to the Right of Nelson Mandela is Joe Slovo, Russian communist, uh -huh. KJB, head of the Southern Communist Party. Yeah. And there's a flag behind him. Yeah, well, the, the, okay, and what, by the way, what is this, this symbol? Is there anything to that? It's the clenched fist salute of the Soviet Union, of the communists. It's used by the Red Chinese. Okay, now, okay uh, before we get to Winnie, look, this, I mean, hello, there's the pictures, there's the, that's everything that we need to understand what's going on here. Our president says he's a role model. Role model. Clint Eastwood makes a movie to make him just look like the coolest guy on the planet. Outstanding. How did this get missed or did it not get missed? The New York Times, when it printed this picture, whited out the background because they didn't want their readers to get confused by the big red star in the Hammond sickle because they might have got the right idea. Yeah, they might have. Okay, so. Immediately to his right, we see Winnie Mandela. Yes. Now, a new movie is being made about her. What can you tell us about Mrs.? Well, I know that many people call her the mother of the nation, but others call her the mugger of the nation. She had the Nelson Mandela Football Club. Now, you would think football club, they kick footballs. Actually, uh -huh. they kick people's heads. The Winnie Mandela uh, bodyguard, which is called the Nelson Mandela Football Club, uh, was proven to be a bunch of mass murdering thugs. They tortured and killed people. Winnie Mandela actually was found guilty in court of murder of a 12 year old boy, Stompy, proven. I mean, some of others, she tortured this boy to death personally. And it was upheld on appeal. She is sentenced to five years in prison. She hasn't served a day. For no other reason then, she has the surname Mandela. Okay, so she was found guilty one time. It was, they wanted to, to have this retried. The appeal process happened. She Confirmed. was found guilty again. So, no extended and look, the South African justice system tends to be a little on the liberal side. They found her guilty, yes. guilty. Yeah. She served no time. And no that time. was, it was for not paying her parking tickets? Is that what you said? Murdering a 12-year-old boy, torturing right him to death. All right, terrific. And of course, other members of the Nelson Mandela Football Club were found guilty of other murders, but this is one that they definitely pinned on her. She wasn't just ordering it, she wasn't just present, she was participating. Terrific. But that's not the main reason people call her the mugger of the nation. She is the one who, it is said, invented, but she certainly popularized and promoted the necklace method. All right, uh, once again, uh, for the kids, uh, uh, go ahead. Okay, what's necklacing? Necklacing is putting an automobile tire over somebody, pouring gasoline over them and setting them alight. Oh, yes. This is what Mandela, Nelson, Winnie Mandela, Nelson Mandela's wife, said, with our box of matches and with our necklaces, we will liberate this country. So with a box of matches, they were gonna, have you ever had a box of matches presented to you, sir? Oh, I've had them shake box of matches in my face saying, we will necklace you. Now, these are communists trying to intimidate me. Now, I can take that. But what I find particularly reprehensible is I had an 18-year-old paraplegic girl whose two parents had been murdered by communist terrorists, and she has made a quadriplegic from the neck down, an AK-47 bullet paralyzed her. She is in a wheelchair. And I was taking her to a public meeting, and I saw communist thugs shaking box of matches in the face saying, to this 18-year-old quadriplegic pansy, we're going to necklace you. Shaking box of matches in the face, we'll necklace you. All right, now. 
that was the past. That was, okay, he yeah. maybe, you know, we've all got a past. Yeah. Nelson Mandela, he's cleaned up his act. His yeah. presidency, wow, it pretty much uh, saved Africa. That would be nice if we could believe that. However, uh, under Mandela, the murderers who attacked churches like this, St. James churches, the St. James Massacre uh, in 1993, five terrorists of the Pan-African Congress burst in, murdered these people through hand grenades. Nelson Mandela admitted he gave the order to open fire on these demonstrators, these Encarta Freedom Party Zulu All right, demonstrators. Underneath the presidency of ne Nelson Mandela, yes. how did the economy go, go? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs down. Uh, I can give you a lot of examples that uh, the South African Rand went from two Rand to the dollar, down to eight, down to 12, down to 14 Rand to the dollar. So without a war, without sanctions, without conscription, without riots, with massive international aid, the economy plummeted. All right, and abortion, homosexuality, oh. pornography, all of it. All righty, before you go see anything at the movie theater, specifically about the Mandelas, you might want to remember this little history lesson from our good friend, Dr. Peter Hammond.